Ask me how to make um zone wars maps and I'm just here to like explain this to everybody like step by step I'm gonna break it down a lot but if this video helps you just make sure you leave a like subscribe if you haven't and turn on your post notifications and if you haven't make sure you guys are using code raid jersey in the item shop it'll help me up a lot all right so let's get into it first I'm gonna just go to a diff I'm gonna go to a blank map let's see all right so I got a blank map right all right so basically this is where wherever you want all right you just press up on the d-pad um you want to go to devices and when you see basic storm controller you click that whatever wherever you want the um zone to end that's exactly where you throw it so if i want it to end right here that's where i'm going to put it obviously and right here this is where the circle closes so let me show you how to fix that so initial radius is where you want it to start so if i was to put it on 75 it will start literally right here so basically if you want to out the map just put it base what i do is i put it on 300 so it spawns all the way back there and then end radius is this is where you want the zone to end so if i put it on five meters this the circle will just sit right here and that's the end if i put it on zero obviously it will just close all the way so you you might want it to close all the way wait time is how much you want it to wait so probably 30 seconds resize time this is how long it takes for the zone to close all the way so probably like it just reset on me wait time 30 seconds this will probably be on two and a half minutes damage 10 delay time you don't need to worry about that all right so there you go your storm it'll work that's all you have to do so say if i want to put the spawns right i wanted to put it out of um wood so i'll put one this is where my spawn pad would be and then go five out one two three four five and you can put it however you want it doesn't really matter nothing's gonna be perfect unless you like take your sweet time which i don't have time to do so i kind of like rush my zones all right so like i said you want to put a let's see where is it at want to put a spawn pad right here make sure this spawn pad is on um secondary use it i'll start to take that off well if you if you don't have a creator code then you don't have to worry about it you can put it on um you can put it on island start if you want but if you have a creator code and you want to make like a beginning like a little place where everybody spawns before you start the game then yeah that's you could put that there but you could put that off visible during games it's up to you that's how i put it and then after uh item spawners want five of those so one two three four five five all right just copy the settings i put here all the settings are supposed to be exactly like this but keep in mind that you have to do it 16 times for each player to spawn the same <clears throat> but for the sake of this tutorial i want it to be like a short amount of time so we'll put two guns so i don't have to actually do the full thing but you guys get the idea Alright, so I'll just get a a gun for my inventory. Say I wanted this and this. I'll drop this right here. Right here. Alright. So there we have it. You got the little spawn right here. You got the storm. And what else would you need? So a lot of people's been asking me how to do a respawn room. So it's places where you um where you blow up in this one room and it like prevents glitches so that's what you want to do i'm going to go as far away as possible um say it doesn't matter what you put but go up and go to galleries and you want to look for the gallery it's like indestructible gallery something like that it's like i don't know let me find it i'll show you right here it's called indestructible gallery yeah exactly what it is all right so you want to put that somewhere And this is what I put. Put this. And if you want to go on the ground, you just have to um, just hold the left stick, and you should be able to go through stuff. Just go down. And I usually it's four times four is sixteen, so it's sixteen spawn pads. So I just go four by four um spawn room. 
three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I make it one extra up. So people don't like put traps on the ceiling or anything. Cause if you die fully in the um, respawn room, then you'll just die. You won't even be able to play the game. All right, so let's get the spawn pads ready. Wanna place the spawn pads. You wanna make sure that you don't put floors. You just put like the spawn pads and it'll automatically have wood under it. So once, so once I put the dynamite in the middle when it blows up, the whole thing can break. So if there's no spawn pads, you won't spawn here. You'll spawn up there. I'll show you in a second. So like you just put the settings. What you wanna do? Uh, team any priority. You wanna put that on primary. This I'll start. Turn that off. Turn this on basically like that copy those settings right there i'm not gonna do it to everybody because you know actually i i have to <laughs> all right so now i'm done i did all of it and what you want to do uh go to where you put the gallery at this is pretty obvious you just put the ceiling on no big deal do this really quickly should take like literally 30 seconds all right then when you go back up you want to go to devices come up to where you see um explosive device throw that click it then you want to put this in the very center and then play your damage you want that to be at 200 structure damage put that all the way to like 2000 Damage indestructible buildings, yes, since we're building out of indestructible stuff. And um, make sure like the dynamite has a lot of health so nobody like messes around and breaks it. Blast radius, put that on three and time, put it on five seconds of time. So once you're done with this, you have your respawn room, go back up, and you want to delete all of this. It doesn't really matter, I'm just doing a tutorial, but like, I don't know, I think I have like OCD or something. Right, but and uh, it's your um it's whatever you prefer if you want a, a blank map like this one with buildings it's up to you it's totally up to you like that's what makes zone wars map so unique it's just the the person who builds it how they make it how much time they put into it but yeah um settings uh spawns you should put spawns on two uh because when you blow up it's gonna take a life so once you blow up it should, you should go back to your box total rounds one time limit probably put that on uh, six or seven minutes eliminations to end turn that off see last standing on blah, blah. um let's see all right that should be good time of day is all this is all up to you make sure you put on a hundred shields max ammo off infinite resources off um harvest rate that should be at point one environmental damage should be on keep items when eliminated you're supposed to drop uh and fall damage is supposed to be on glad to redeploy off and just whatever you want it's whatever you prefer and i i have siphon settings so everything is 50. you get 50 health and 50 mats each for killing somebody So that's it. Let me start the game and show you guys. So once you start the game, just spawn in the respawn room. About five seconds to late, blows up, dance, blows up. Notice how the floor breaks, and you should spawn in the box with your, the weapons that you put. Boom, boom, you break out. This is the world, and you see the storm. It's supposed to wait 30 seconds. It's probably been already like 15, 20 already. So in about 10 seconds, it should go off and start moving. And notice how the zone moves, whatever the settings put. And one more thing I forgot to show you guys, since I don't have any mats, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so when you go all the way down, it's this thing, uh, it's called, Team settings and inventory, you want to click that, 
so by your box you just want to place it wherever you want probably like on the side or something and settings you want to just all you want to do is put it to um invisible during games you want to put that off so nobody sees it and this is whatever you want to put like say if i wanted mats if i wanted people to have mats 500 of each 100 of each ammo uh say if i wanted launch pads launch pads and traps just drop that in here one trap one launch pad and just put all the ammo in there but if this was a regular map with like 16 of these boxes so say if i was to put a box all the way all the way down there and this one probably wouldn't give the stuff in this all the way to that one so you just have to make multiple of those so yeah you're probably gonna have to make if there's 16 you're probably gonna have to make at least seven so you guarantee that everybody has mats and all that let me start the game and show you guys in the respawn room it's chilling way here this prevents glitches and stuff so you probably you won't be lagging or glitchy or anything then you spawn in here notice how we have mats now we have traps traps the ammo the launch pads and all that so yeah it's pretty much it but like i said if you want to add buildings that's this your um choice but yeah like i said if this video helped anybody out if you didn't know how to do anything but this video helped you and taught you something just make sure you hit the like button for me real quick and if you're new to the channel just make sure you hit the sub button and turn on post notifications as well because i usually up upload like almost every day i stream almost every day also so yeah, you don't want to miss it.